Hey, welcome to another video. This is Big Will from Big Will Backyard Barbecue, self-proclaimed pit master. <laughs> uh, you're looking at a Lone Star Chef pellet grill, uh, not a Red Tech Stampede. It resembles it uh, based on shape and, of course, the hopper. Uh, it's from the same manufacturer, not sold by the same company out of Augusta, Georgia, called Red Tech Grills. Uh, this company is apparently out of California or Texas. I know mine was shipped out of Texas, uh, but this was uh, ordered through Home Depot. And this is my quick review and overview of the pellet grill. Uh, it's got a 30 pound hopper and it does come with a PID controller with a meat probe option. And of course it does have the meat probe slot or hole that goes into the cooking chamber. The assembly on it uh, was extremely easy, 30 minutes or less. I was able to get that up and running and no issues there. Uh, the burn pot that comes with it, um, yeah, below standard. I've, I've seen and felt uh, heavier burn pots. Uh, same thing with the drip, pay, or drip pan. It's um, fairly cheap, thin, but I guess it'll do what it's meant to do. Uh, it has the same specs and dimensions of the uh, Rectech Stampede, except for, of course, it's not stainless steel. It is just regular steel and uh, thin at that. It's not necessarily the thickest I've seen, uh, <laughs> but it is uh, doable. It's about medium quality. Uh, and for the price point, it could be a little bit better, I say. Let's go ahead and look inside really quick. I just got done burning and seasoning it. And uh, there's some leftover, of course, pellets. Uh, inside, you got your RDT, or yeah, RTD uh, uh, temperature gauge. That's the probe. And it's got, it is sealed, as you can see, the high heat sealant. And don't see if it's double walled, um, the hood or the door, not necessarily the strongest or the thickest. Again, it's going to do it. Uh, I'm going to have to put a gasket on it if I keep it uh, because it does leak, unfortunately, uh, through the door, but most of them do. And let's take a look here. Uh, the handle is not stay cool. It does get pretty, pretty warm. I would say hot at high heats, but this puppy is not going to be at a high heat uh, cook. It's actually going to be low and slow. That's primarily uh, what I'm going to be using it for or what I'm going to be using it for. And that's pretty much it. Give you a side view. Uh, you got your drip bucket. And you got your uh, storage shelf on the bottom. Uh, it does come with the grill grates on the other side, which are not stainless steel. I would think they're porcelain coated. And uh, you get a uh, top shelf and a bottom shelf. Uh, the top shelf is one piece. Uh, it's considered a full uh, top shelf, not a half. And the bottom shelf is, of course, two separate uh, pieces. So far, so good. Uh, both times I had it at high heat at 400 and 375. It maintained that temperature. It did not spike and did not drop at all. It maintained the 400 with the PID controller, uh, maintaining the airflow on and off, on and off, of course, if you're familiar with the PID, the algorithm that it uses. It's really cool. And that 375 did the same. Uh, does the same with the 225 or 300 345 uh, this thing does uh, keep the temperature where you want it at so uh, that is the that is the only I would say the biggest draw is going to be that PID controller but if you're able to spend another couple hundred dollars get that get the red tech uh, stampede um, or if you want the bowl because of those uh, well worth it stainless steel it's not going to rust on you if you keep take care of it uh, this will stay underneath of course shelter <laughs> on my deck so it ain't going anywhere but uh, overall um, i'm not completely disappointed in it um, uh, i'll know within the next 30 days or less uh, if i'm going to keep it or not it's going to i'm going to do a couple cooks every weekend and low and slow and see how it works uh, so uh, let me know if you have any questions